all of us, we do not give up. And to you and to us, we are brothers and sisters. We are one together. Your family is my family. My family is your family. I bring you love from my family in Iraq. To you, to your family here in Ulster. It was wonderful going to the Stormont yesterday and meeting the First Minister and the Deputy First Minister and seeing how those who were enemies have come together. And that's what we pray will happen where we are. It was wonderful meeting your Member of Parliament and your Mayor here earlier, just before the service. And wonderful to meet those men of God and we, as people of God, must stick together. Because the one thing that unites us is Hashem, the name. Jesus, name above all things, wonderful Savior. Glorious Lord, in Emmanuel, God is with us, blessed Redeemer, Sorry, that's not one of our songs in a row. I don't usually sing that. The next song I usually sing is one of our songs. And it says, Soon and very soon we are going to see the Soon and very soon we are going to see the Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the King. No more crying there, we are going to see the King. No, no more crying there, we are
and my little boy Amma started crying. He said, Abuna, I wanted my daddy to have my cross. But Dash, the terrorist, came and they killed my daddy. I haven't got a daddy anymore. I said, Ma, see this cross. It is for your daddy. Take it and put it on the altar. And that can be your Baba's cross. So I went with him and we put the cross on the altar. And I said, Amma, Baba has now got his cross. Baba is with Jesus, and he knows you've given him a cross. Amma said, Abuna, I want my daddy. I said, Amma, I'll be your daddy. And the ma said, but you're everybody's daddy. Everybody needs you. I said, I know, but I'm yours as well. And we got a little smile out of him. Yes, I was going to be his daddy. And I was like, told that story this week, I just thought, I want my Amma back. I thought, I need to see my Amma. And he's not the only child who I think of as mine. My colleague, Terry Wilson. No, Terry Jones, sorry. Sorry, I was getting confused with Jenny and Bill Wilson. His name is Terry Jones. And he was a senior policeman in Coventry, so I better be good, otherwise I'll be in trouble. Anyway, Terry was with me one day, and the children, we were with a family and they wanted their daddy. Their daddy had been caught by Dash, the terrorist as well, and had been killed. And I asked these children, we asked these children, what do you want more than anything? We can't get your daddy back, but whatever you need, we will try and get him. So they said, we want a school. We want a school. So we started a school for them. Classes, activities for over 150 children. And this week, today, we are signing up another because there are more children who need school. And so we gave them their school, and they love it. And they are so grateful. And they are so grateful that by God's help, we could give to them what they wanted. Because in Jordan, nothing provided for them. We now provide food, school, all their education, all their living allowance, their rental money, everything. We do it. And how do we do it? We do it because we are family together. They are our family. 
faith of your family. Mimi and Yusuf, Mimi and Marwan, Mimi, most of the girls in Iraq are called Mimi, a bit like in the Catholic community. Mimi is short for Maria or Mary or Mary. The boys are all called Joseph and the girls are all called Mary. With the Muslims, if you don't know their name, call them Mohammed. <laughs> With the Christians, you call them Joseph or Mary. Anyway, this little boy was called Marion. And we loved him and we provided for him. And in a few days, I'll be back with my Marion. And Mario came up to me a few weeks ago. Now he was a happy little boy. And he said to me, Abuna, you are my daddy now, aren't you? I said, Mario, yes, I am your daddy. We give thanks to God that even though our people have got nothing. They have got everything. Because Yeshua is still with them. I'm a bit tired, sorry. And still providing for them. I'm supposed to be a gas man and put you to sleep and put it in <laughs> Will you forgive me? So, that little cross was the sign of hope. Who would like this cross? <laughs> That's what I like to see. Somebody who gives it away, straight away. But I'm giving this to you. <laughs> and you must not give it away. <laughs> this is your from Amar. So we love God and we praise God together. I said there were three songs that we know. In English, I think there are four. We have sung Jesus Loves Me, we have sung Soon and Very Soon, and the next one, I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Well, down in my heart. Well, down in
that girl ringing to tell me to shut up? <laughs> I think it might be. <laughs> what time have we got? We've got another hour, if you want another hour. Another hour? <laughs> <laughs> if, if you want to break, we could we do some worship, whatever you yeah, want. Well, we will do something. <laughs> I've got one more song still. <laughs> and then I need to hear some questions from all of you. The microphone. Is that working now? Yeah. One of the things was, as you heard, many of our people had everything destroyed. Not just their churches and their people, their Bibles were also taken from them. And then I met this man, Brad, at Christ Church, Jackie in Jerusalem. And he had a Bible which was plastic. And it wasn't easy to destroy. And it speaks. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface. NIV. Nearly infallible version. <laughs> Not totally. And we have these Bibles in Arabic. Brad gave them to us in Arabic. And we even have these Bibles in Hebrew, made by the Lake Galilee. It's amazing what came from the Sea of Galilee, isn't it? Al Yusra, Al Yusra came from there, and the Megaboys Bible has come from there, has given our people hope, and we have been able to take hundreds of these Bibles in Arabic to our people, and they can hear it. And the good news is that you can buy them today. Either for you or for us in Arabic. Either way, you've got the opportunity of getting this word from the gallery to the whole world. Thank you that you'll do that. Thank you that you'll stand with us. We need help in so many ways. And we know that you will help us. Because together we are one. Now, I will sing my last song with you before I take your question. My songs were a bit Pentecostal, aren't they? <laughs> The next one is old-fashioned, not like popular, wonderful worship that we had when I moved in here. In my heart there is melody, there is melody of heavenly harmony. Amen. 
his family, his Wigglesworth family, until I was preaching one day at a service like this, and somebody came up to me and said, do you know, here's my great grandfather, and we became best of friends, and his mother, before she died, she became my great friend. But I think that people who were involved with Smith Wigglesworth seem to live a long time. <laughs> the funeral of his granddaughter, she was 102. My grandfather, he died, went to heaven. But his wife, oh dear, do you know what? I had to pray. I honestly had to pray, Lord, let us now, my servant, depart in peace. <laughs> for her eyes have seen the glory of her salvation. She was 107. <laughs> she lived a long shot. But it was the gift of God. You know, I've got MS. Most people think I should have given up by now. My assistant, after a long while, I, I had an assistant who was my co-director at the Reconciliation Centre in Coventry. And I said to him, look, I'm going to be in Baghdad now. The Church of England think I'm too ill to be given a parish or a work long term is when I was in Coventry Cathedral. So I went to Baghdad and it was great. God did wonderful things and he's now left and gone to Canterbury to be the Archbishop Justin Welby. <laughs> Used to be Justin, now it's your grace. <laughs> Next one. My question is, why? If you look at the history, Hitler and Fonty killed all the Jews, and these awful, these awful people now seem to want to kill the Christians and the uh, you know, the, um, the, the, uh, they seem to be very anxious to kill the young, uh, the young girls uh, in those various schools. Um, and, you know, might say that that is the devil work at work, but can you, I'd love to hear, sir, what your explanation is. Is it just the evil in this world 